Hey up everybody. Uh, I've been having to think about my name plates for Loco and I'm going to put two one, one on each side where those holes are in my cab that I've mentioned quite a few times to, to disguise them holes. So this is what I'm coming up with uh, a size four and a quarter long inch and a sixteenth wide. I've been rooting round my brass off cuts and I found this piece of one eighth brass and uh, various other bits, a sixteenth brass which are, which are just here and what I'm going to do now this is not my idea so I'm not going to take any credit for this my tutor when I was an apprentice many many moons ago is in his nineties now Brian I can remember him saying uh, this is how he did his uh, he didn't go into any great detail but he said he'd cut the letters out and soldered them onto a, a base plate and then it looks like a casting because these castings are quite expensive if you haven't made uh, and you know me by now well, <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be spending any money on name, name plates if I can help it anyway so what I'm going to do then, the middle bit here, I'm going to mill it out, half the thickness, that'll be a sixteenth to come out. Then I'm going to make some letters, and every letter I make I'm going to stick two pieces of brass together with some double sided tape. So I've, so I've only got to make them once, if you know what I mean. And I'm going to uh, cut them letters out, split them, and then soft solder them, find some method of holding them in position, and then soft solder them onto that plaque so it looks like a casting. Anyway, watch this space and we'll see, we'll see how I progress and if it works. Right, because I want four C's, I'm going to cut all the four C's together. All the other letters are just two, so by doing them together you're just saving yourself time. It's only 16th plate in brass so it's easy to cut and I'm just using double sided tape. Just a bit of filing to do now.
that's all my letters cut out then. So I'm going to move over to my milling machine now and uh, put this recess in this in this uh, base plate. And I've got my brass plate clamped to the table of my miller. I've put a parallel right down one edge. It's only about less. It's less than one eighth on that edge. Clamped it down. Put two clamps on the end. One in the middle. Uh, I've got two plates here set up all in all in one go. Uh, the material is 1.093 thousandths wide. My letters are 0.650 high so I've worked it out that I can leave approximately 5 30 second edging all the way around and I'm going to go a 16th deep And I've just got off at milling machine. I've I've managed to deburr these, and they've cut, they've turned out okay. I think just want a bit more cleaning up and detail work doing on them. Couple of holes to drill in them, then I'm ready for soldering letters on. I think I'll do that in part two. Then sold, carry on and sold up letters on and get everything drilled and etc. And uh, I bet you're all itching to know what name is. I'll leave that one for you to study till part two I think and all will be revealed so I'm going to sign off for now then thanks for watching and I'll catch you on part two bye for now